Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to Mini Pocket Letter Monday. I need to pop the chat out today. <laughs> For some reason, it's doing the weird, funky thing. Okay. So, today's theme ice cream. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use Foley the Authentic Kit. Or if I'm going to bring in some other cut-aparts. I have a feeling I might. First, we need to start off with our base. <laughs> the pockets. Oh my gosh. It's like a... Oh no, I can't think of his name. Ah! It's been too long. <laughs> Schmeagel, but <laughs> like, what's the. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's like the. The voice that he makes. <laughs> I want to use up some of these papers that I have. A yellow and a green. I'm not sure. I don't think we'll use the brownish. Meh. I don't feel the need for that. If I do feel like the yellow... Uh, the green might not work very well. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I just got a little cough right there. We had our furnace, well, our heater slash everything, <laughs> like our fan and our. Fan heater and AC. We had it cleaned out today. I feel like we've got a bunch of dust in the air now. But hopefully, it's a lot nicer <laughs> going forward. I didn't realize how gross it got. <laughs> it was what three well, maybe four or five months actually it was quite disgusting <laughs> i was very shocked so i've got like an actual ice cream paper i feel like i want to use This is the one that had the sprinkles on the back too. Oh, this paper is just so cute. Mm, yeah, I'll save it. I like to save the well sometimes. I like to save the oh, my purple right there. The little quotes that come on the authentic papers. So for the confectionery one, is this confectionery or is it confection? Confection. <laughs> this one is one of the secrets of a happy life is continuous small treats. I actually used the flawless ones on some tissue covers. It was like the perfect size. I don't know if I'm going to make some tissue covers with the... Oh, wait, I need two and a quarter by three and a quarter because I've got my mat. I'm not sure if I'm going to make some tissue covers with this paper. I feel like it's a little weird for a tissue cover. Like, I feel like the flawless one was perfect because, oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, let's re redo this one. We um, 
I didn't realize what I was doing. <laughs> I was talking and didn't realize. So <laughs> we're going to have to, we're doing a horizontal today. <laughs> or I guess vertical, technically. <laughs> I was gabbing away. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that sprinkle paper too. But... Now I'm trying to focus so I don't mess something up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, did I have another one of these? Where did it go? But anyways, I think the flawless was just like perfect for tissue covers. Just like I can see, I can imagine it sitting on somebody's desk or like vanity, which I know like nobody has vanities anymore. But. I could picture that. <laughs> hey, Andrea. How's it going today? How was your Monday? <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Mm, sounds like it's going to be a good day then. <laughs> Do you have anything special planned with them today? It's really nice out. Well, I don't know about your, where you are. <laughs> I would assume we're, you know, pretty close. So I would assume it's pretty much the same. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm doing pretty great. Feeling that sunshine. Did some spring cleaning. <laughs> Everything all dolled up. I can feel the summer coming. <laughs> so this is like really large. I'm kind of thinking actually that might go on a tag on the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull out those cut-aparts. Actually, I think I have some banners in here that might look pretty good too. Love me some banners. Ooh, that would be cute. We're <laughs> doing a yellow scene. <laughs> that wasn't even planned. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm just really obsessed with yellow this spring. There's just something about yellow that <laughs> it's sitting with me. Okay. I also have strawberries. <laughs> I don't think we're using the strawberries today. Is that a cone? Oh, no. That's a piece of pizza slice. <laughs> There's the cone. Yeah, there should be two of each, I think. But there are some banners down here. Some pink. Some, well, I don't know. That's more of a green, I guess. Hmm. I think that's all I'm going to be using from there. I think I might actually make some more gift bags with this set. I think this little ice cream truck is going to be too cute on a gift bag. He very well could go on here, actually. Since we're doing a... Oops, I actually grabbed a strawberry. <laughs> We do have some ice cream. These are quite large. And kind of weird looking, to be honest. <laughs> They're a little strange. Let's move these over here. I don't think we'll use the You Are Amazing. But the Life is Great. Oh, these like fit perfectly right there. I'm 
beautiful day. We'll stick up here. And then I'm thinking for this one, doing a few banners going like that. I don't think I'm going to bring in the green paper, actually. It doesn't seem to want to fit its way in there. Hmm. The thing is, like, this guy, he is just a little bit larger. Like, his cut aparts are just a little bit larger than normal. At least it seems that way. It's like if, if I think back to the flawless, which, oh my gosh, it's been kind of a long time since I actually used the cut aparts. They were on the smaller side. I feel like I had a lot easier time using them on the mini pocket letters. This guy is definitely a lot larger. He's definitely more for maybe an album. I want to start making some more albums. I actually kind of have an idea for an album. Just the construction of it. I haven't decided yet what kind of theme I want to do. I think... Hmm... This is where the debating comes in. I actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and move it back. I know it's a little weird. <laughs> I'm kind of like misdirectioning like everything. But I kind of have an idea. I think this might be cute. Because these are so large, they just take up so much room. But that's kind of cool. All right, so we have an ice cream sundae here. We'll do on the other side. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to think back to what kind of bags I've made so far with this kit. Did I make a donut one? Or did I just make a donut card? <laughs> That's what happens when I spread out projects throughout a few months. I start to lose track of what I've done. <laughs> I guess I could go back and look at the video. It is a record for me, so it would make it easier on me. I feel like I've done ice cream for the gift bags. But I feel like an ice cream truck one would be kind of cute. I think we did donut cards. Okay, I think I'd like to put a few little bits and pieces around here. This is where I wish we had those smaller pieces. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything I'm annoying over there. I do have some bling. That's not too bad. These are from the Spellbinders kit last month. Oh, which reminds me, we're going to be, I'll hopefully <laughs> be done with the Spellbinders kit tomorrow and the video should go up. I think I'll finish it off after Mini Pocket Letter Monday today. And the video will go, up, will go up tomorrow. 
Okay. Now for the uh, the special. <laughs> what made me really want to get out the um, <laughs> the ice cream pack today? I did a little bit of hauling from Colorado Craft Company. They have some of these really little stamp. Well, they're not really little, but they're little. They're only four dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> I thought it was crazy. <laughs> Let me show you here. Maybe. Doesn't wanna. There we go. So they also have a free shipping day. That's why I ended up getting these. I was like, heck yeah. Because like they it would be like five fifty, I think. It's like that's a whole nother stamp. Not for free. Come on. I don't know when their next um, free shipping day will be. I don't see it on their website or anything. But these are definitely the coolest. Aren't they cute? I'm not normally that big into like the mice stamps, but for some reason these ones are kind of cool. I'm really kind of hesitant about how the font or the sentiments will stamp. Just because they're so tiny, they tend to be kind of an issue with tinier sentiment stamps. I think he's he's going to be our main focal point in that center. Ooh, and I should stamp him in a different color. I only have like green out right now. <laughs> and it's like a forest green. And Emerald City... Actually, let's try the Emerald City. It's either that or orange, and I'm not I'm not really thinking the orange will look too great with this. The Emerald City may. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> it's one of those colors where it's. I feel like it's going to be really hard to include that. I should have a scrap white hanging around too. All right, let's see how this guy stamps. Actually, for that. Hmm. I kind of kind of like that. It's a little bit more floral than fruity. Interesting. Well, that didn't stamp very well. Wonder. I don't think I have a nail file on hand, do I? Or an eraser? I might have an eraser. Maybe the second stamp will be a little better. Hey, Kim. How's your day going? Yeah, much better. <laughs> I think I will try and find. Uh oh, we're gonna have to fussy time out. I did that a little too close. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> well, hello to chat. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're just going <laughs> going off of sound. <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> you're probably like, oh, the twists and the turns. <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> I mean, you kind of have an idea because you've seen me use the confection for a few, quite a few projects. <laughs> 
I kind of like that she has her signature on the stamp. That's kind of neat. The, uh, oh, what is it? Anita? Is that her name? Anita something. I don't know. <laughs> but I think he's just, oh, he's so cute. Kind of wondering if I should go in with some coke or alcohol markers. He's a really little guy. Hmm. I have a light brown. I feel like I'm going to muddy him up if I do, but let's try it. Look at his really tiny little arm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to have to like dot around it. I need like a light gray, I think. I don't want too much brown. Oh my gosh, he's got his little tongue out. Where I look at the stamp. <laughs> I know, like, actually, putty might work. I know a lot of people really enjoy the house mouse, or is a mouse house? <laughs> the mouse stamps. <laughs> Did they ever come out with clear stamps for them? Or are they all rubber stamps still? He's like a little pink mouse. Oh no, is he a naked mole rat? <laughs> it does look like he has fur though, so... <laughs> Hopefully he's not um, confused. <laughs> Maybe people will uh, will be confused. <laughs> I feel like he needs a bright pink bow. Okay, maybe not this bright pink. <laughs> Uh, scrap piece of paper. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. I already pulled it out. Oh, gosh, look at that. Oh, and I need a different pink for his tongue. Oh, no, it's here. Why did I think that was part of the bow? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> What are your guys' favorite ice cream flavors? Mm. I would have to say I really like mint chocolate chip, but I have to be like in the mood for like actual ice cream, like a heavy ice cream. Typically just go with vanilla though. Um, I need a really, oh here, this should be really light. Yeah, that's not really light, but it, it's, you know, <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> what kind of ice cream should we give him? And what's that supposed to be? <laughs> hmm. Oh, thanks, Andrea. Do I color differently than other people? <laughs> I feel like it might be a cookie. French vanilla. Mm. When it has those like little flecks. Like the vanilla bean or whatever it's supposed to be. Ooh, vanilla with cherries in it. Oh. I haven't had cherries <laughs> in ice cream in a long time. 
That sounds so good. I think we're going to make it a cookie. I'm going to do a really dark brown. Do a little bit of shading on these cross hatches too. Ooh, very cool. I also like butter pecan. That's a good one. Hmm. Ice cream flavor. What should we give him? I have like a really minty green, actually. Oh wait, it says apple. <laughs> I think that's like a mint chocolate chip. I think it kind of goes with the color scheme. It could be a pistachio ice cream. I don't think I've ever had that, but oh, green tea ice cream. Oh, so good. Especially after Chinese. So I was so obsessed with green tea ice cream there for a while. And it's so hard to come by. I had to go to a Kroger that's 15 minutes away. And they were like, there were only three left. <laughs> I feel like I want something behind him. I could do... Ooh... Or do we want the pink? Mm, I think I like the blue a smidge better. Yeah, I, the, I think it was two years ago was the first time I'd ever had it. I was like, what? And I was like, this is going to be so weird. Like, I'm not going to really like this. I like green tea, but... I thought it would just be such a weird flavor of ice cream, but no, it's just, it's really refreshing. Ooh, Italian ice cream. Oh, uh, what? Gelato? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be really cool to try sometime too. Isn't it like a, a thicker ice cream? Is that right? I actually want to put it up here. I'm going to make my own hole. <laughs> now a light pink. Where I do have, oh, I should have done that a little higher. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely feel like it's a go to Italy and try it. <laughs> you have to try it at least once, and that means you have to go to Italy at least once, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pink. I do have no the golden yellow isn't gonna look too great. I think pink's where it's at today. I think Italy is one of those places where I'm like, yeah, I would love to go, but I feel like I wouldn't I feel like it would be so pretty, but it just wouldn't really mesh with me very well. For some strange reason, I just feel that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to definitely go and visit at least some type of European <laughs> place. I know we, def we really want to do Scotland. 
especially like a cruise around. Oh, you're part Italian, French, and English. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, quite the mix. Oh yeah, I'm the I'm the melting pot as well. <laughs> Oh, authentic fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys are speaking my language. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had any fettuccine, actually. I tried are they what are they called? Konjac noodles? Cognac noodles? Well <laughs> only not cognac. <laughs> ah. And they're supposed to be like, you know, a low calorie substitute to spaghetti or whatever. They were kind of ch like chunky, like, <laughs> or not chunky, but like crunchy. I think they're supposed to be like a little bit more al dente than, and that was interesting. I feel like it's probably a better alternative to zucchini noodles, although I've never had those, so. Oh yeah, like actual Italian pizza. That would be so cool to try. Ooh, I don't really, I don't think I've ever really tried Marie Callender very often. I think I typically go towards, is it Stouffer's? We do a lot, a lot of lasagnas frozen. Because I just, I hate making lasagnas now. <laughs> I don't have enough room. I just don't feel like <laughs> maneuvering that much. <laughs> Let's grab some goodies. Oh, carrot noodles. I've never tried that. <laughs> oh. I like to get the the vegetable, <laughs> but my husband always goes and gets the the meat lovers. <laughs> so we always we split a lasagna. So it's always like one day we'll have a meat lovers, and then <laughs> the other day we'll eat the vegetable and he just always complains when we have the vegetable one. <laughs> like couldn't we just get two <laughs> of the meat lovers and I'm like no because I like the <laughs> I like the vegetable <laughs> mm, I don't think I've had the french breads I'm going to do some of these stickers. Something I really kind of fell in love with is actually pre-frozen, uh, like, grilled hamburger patties. I can just take one out and microwave it. <laughs> I, this year I haven't cooked very much at all it's kind of weird <laughs> I'm really starting to do that like cook once a week kind of deal instead of trying to make a brand new fresh meal every day which I kind of feel bad about I feel like well am I kind of skimp in here I feel like but also frees me up some more time to craft 
Which we always love. <laughs> I've gotten so much more crafting done this year. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is Alfredo sauce. It tends to be a little bit more runny, but it's so good. Mmm, never had the veggie pizza. Yeah, I don't know if I'm burnt out on it. I think I just have better things to do. <laughs> I'd rather craft than bake or cook. <laughs> and I also don't really like to cook during the summer anyway. So that's going to be pretty normal. We do a lot of sandwiches and stuff during the summer. So it's just going to translate, you know. <laughs> we just did that during the winter as well. Some things just are more of a priority. <laughs> I feel like I might slip in a few cuts of the paper and maybe a few actual cut aparts as well. Let's see. Problem is, I don't know. <laughs> One of these probably won't fit. <laughs> They're quite large. We'll do the smaller ones. I could fold some over. I don't like doing that though. These creases. <laughs> but... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that giant. <laughs> Ampersand. So, yeah, that's the ampersand. Ooh, this one doesn't want to come out. I'm trying to think back to like what the cut apart said. None of them really needed it. So I don't know what that's about. Oh, should I send it along with you guys? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You guys couldn't figure out what to do with it. <laughs> this is on you. <laughs> I actually just used one with this new Spellbinders kit. I actually... I wasn't sure I was going to end up using them, but... It kind of fit nicely on one of the cards. Mango. up. <laughs> you guys can decide what to do with that. <laughs> that one's all on you. <laughs> oh, actually, we have one little guy here. He can go, too. Little apple pie. Oh, dang. Not bad. Looks like about half will be good. It's not quite half, but... This paper is just so cute. It's got the sprinkles on the back, too, so you don't want to use the actual ice cream paper. Hmm. Now some hiccups. Point a few 
sheets of paper. I think I'd also like to stick in maybe a sticker sheet or something. Hmm. Cut aparts are a little bit too big, like the actual cut aparts, <laughs> not the punch outs. Something else. Looking around and I can't see anything. <laughs> I'll probably have to get out a sticker book or something. I'll have to do that later though. Right now I've got a little too much on my desk. <laughs> but that, actually, is that more? Oh, actually, a sheet of bling. That would go really good in there. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute! And that little focal point mouse, he just, he is too cute. Actually, I could do some sentiments. <laughs> yeah, I never already did. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have added. That's okay. <laughs> I kind of neglected the rest of the stamp there. <laughs> I was just too excited about him. <laughs> so, today's giveaway. Actually, I haven't decided yet. Where are we? Well, <laughs> kind of thinking. Mm. I feel like I want to give this one away because it has a Bob Ross quote. I just, <laughs> it needs some love. <laughs> I think his is just one of those. So this is one of the little guys, little mice. He is the artiste. <laughs> so this one says, all you need to paint is a few tools, a little instruction, and a vision in your mind. Bob Ross. Make art that makes you happy. Love that one. <laughs> and then the artist. And the artiste. And he's got a little portfolio. And a little beret. <laughs> This is so cute. <laughs> so that is going along with this guy for today's or this week's mini pocket letter Monday. Let's see here. And we also have to draw um for the monthly. Two, we have, oh, we need to add Kim to the list. Pat. <laughs> I need a pet. Um, sorry, Kim, you can't be added. I don't have a pet. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> That's like one of the things I continuously lose. All right. Kim's in purple, as she should be. <laughs> Candy. Kim. <laughs> You're even in purple on that one, too. That's funny. Andrea. All right. And then it's Andrea and Kim for today's. My little mice ice cream. <laughs> Let's give it a good shake here, actually. Andrea, psh, psh, she's trying to unfold here. Trying to have an unfair advantage. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm not looking. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to do that one again. Kim! Kim is the winner of the ice cream mini pocket letter and the little little artiste <laughs> stamp set. Now we need to do April's big giveaway winner. Kim ice cream. So we have Andrea, we have Kim, 
We have Sophie. And we have Candy. Okay. <laughs> I really need to get a different bucket. <laughs> Keep trying to unfold and go in with each other here. What the heck? You're being unruly today. Alrighty. Andrea! You are the April Big Giveaway winner! <laughs> April... Andrea, I think that's your first, the big guy, right? Because it was Loreen and Candy. Have, we've only had two so far. So Andrea, <laughs> you're the big one. You are most welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out and participating and watching the live stream and chatting. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> I feel like every month she's like, I want it, I want it. <laughs> now, I haven't decided what theme I'm doing. So do you have an input? You, you have like a request or maybe something you're feeling interested in <laughs> I'll take some suggestions <laughs> I feel like I might do bees I don't know <laughs> I feel like I really want to get that bee paper pad out and I just happened <laughs> And I feel like I continuously keep <laughs> saying, it's going to be the bees. <laughs> and it never is the bees. <laughs> so just a quick little recap, since it is the end of the month. Um, next month will be a brand new sheet. And anybody who participates in Mini Pocket Letter Monday Live, they come in and watch the video, well, watch the live, and they watch or and they chat during the live. They'll be entered into a giveaway for that Mini Pocket Letter Monday that week, and they will have a chance to win the Mini Pocket Letter that I make. And normally I have a little extra something for that week as well. <laughs> normally it pertains. And then also if you chat in any of the weeks of that month, you will also be entered into a big monthly giveaway. So just a little. I think most of most of you guys know this. <laughs> you know, just got to reiterate. <laughs> Especially, you know, the end of the month. Because it's going to be a brand new month. It's so weird. I think it's because there's still like a few days left of the month. But I don't feel like it should be the end of the month yet. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for coming out to Mini Pocket Letter Monday Live. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while well, we made our Mini Pocket Letter. <laughs> Congrats to Kim on winning the ice cream Mini Pocket Letter and the little RT stamp and congrats on Andrea for winning the big April giveaway. I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good, crazy, not bad, crazy. And I'll see you in the next one, which actually will be tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have the spellbinders kit. I think project share done. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming out guys. <laughs>